betisha you are smart you are smart uyai bisisa tata sam betisha ngo sam bet betuka mata but is suka under the sleep go this needs a good bite and my head ni senza cha ni ni senza cha ndi i am god an encrypted message for you to decipher the reason why the supreme being created me for one purpose and i suppose this is it that is to complete the duality and i know it might seem like an eclipse to you but to me it's rebirth simply because i am a time in a time when time itself was first constructed i and the idea that compelled the gods to eventually find the one the sun could mate with and so they called upon the moon to quickly come and dance around its orbit and mimic its movements all the while the universe was rejoicing shedding positive vibrations into the atmosphere stars twinkling clouds shedding tears for the reawakening yet except for men kind you see he was beside himself with fear because he knew there stood the truth the in betweens of everything else and so when days like this especially when the sun rises with no glitch like the clouds and ash i feel an excruciating pain as though the umbilical cord is reattached again like goku when he had to outpool his tail and though it made him look monstrous but much more strength he had to gain hence the need to go back and invade her space take her back to december 16th 1986 in a time when azan was under a state of emergency and the reason is i built a tomb inside my mother's womb gave her the braxton hex because ironically i knew that she was not ready to be a mother yet and to prove that fact i had to put her through a test for greatness was at hand and so i mummified myself blocked the umbilical cord along with everything they could pull me out of and using the einstein theory of relativity like you would swear i was in an elevated point of spiritual trance like state of mind even eyesight shut down and I could still fight sun like a monster that i chakra activated to full power cuz late last night while the physicality of me was asleep spiritually i left but when i woke up i dismissed it as a dream you see i too live in three different atmospheres like a tree an extension of the universe the beginning and the end the alpha and the omega east and west the yin and yang life and its death light and pitch black i am the in betweens of the in betweens of a virgin's virginal lips keeping them tightly sealed and for you to go in you'll have to go through me a seven eyed seven legged beast unleashed on the seventh breaking of the seventh seal seized and captured for centuries till broken free from the still cages of satan's den right inside the core of the earth and when i come out i'm looking for sinners rapists gang bangers and killers no way in hell you can run hide or try to fight cuz i have never seen a super saiyan level 5 m16s yo, sis yo. fbi cia terrorist midgets i am the reinforcement of me an ancient force of infinite destruction heavy artillery bunkai released tap within to unleash your chi a sorcerer's apprentice mind over matter i can bend anything you see today i smoked a bag of weed till i watched my eyes turn red with blood watched them drag away in a chariot of tears pain outside cuz somehow i am fueled by vengeance to go up against the best and conquer them in their quest to add a bit of two cents to what i sought to get currently have sent to protect brought forth to shield the earth from the destruction of the four horsemen repent or face the consequences of the seven trumpets you see i summoned the sun the earth the moon and the stars forced them to give me their powers they said why i said have you ever seen a super saiyan level 5 they said no i said right and with that in mind i did like the 40 monks that meditated for 40 nights till i saw my soul escape this physique to defy the laws of time pause life hold the universe to rotate it anti clock wise broke 
bars 16 to 100 because I too smoked a bit of that can I bars and then telekinetically slipped in between the arms of time held them tight not to move around bent them right gave them hype made them think they could fly shaped them into a line and then shipped them into my mind and ever since then me and time have never seen eye to eye you see like grains of sands in an hourglass time has been captured and imprisoned in the dark dungeons of the Vatican slums. I am Ukama. <laughs> How can I put this? There's there's a lot to learn from what you just said, brah. And it says a lot about the kind of books that you're reading. You know, you spoke of relativity right there. All the scientists people would feel you and go, yeah, we're still trying to understand that. What inspires you to write that, bruh? I, I sleep and I wake up. Is it the weed that you were talking about? <laughs> no. Is it the weed or you just weird? <laughs> I'm, I'm weird like that. <laughs> no. It's dude. weird. So, but serious on that question, what inspires you? Wh which books oh, are you reading? Yeah. Uh, the last book I was reading was The Pilgrimage by Paulo. Paulo Coelho from Brazil. The Pilgrimage. Yeah. Ah, that book, that book is What's powerful. it about? It's about a, a man a commoner taking a journey to self from one point to the next to to the next full circle Th there's a poem i would have loved to do this poem but in this poem i define who and what god i feel is to me uh, um, as it was in the beginning and so shall it be in the end that 360 degrees of ethereal state plus 360 degrees of material state, the circle in the square, fifth, the embodiment of all four elements, spirit that embodies earth, water, fire, and air, thus becoming superior overstanding of 720 degrees in all, what you refer to as God. Uh, that, that's, that's from the, uh, the Dr. Malaki's holy tablet. Too interesting because everything that you talk about it's stuff that me as a, a normal <laughs> pedestrian you can you i don't understand such yes yeah i'm in a journey to find self to know me yeah. better and so in my journey i come across the, all these things that are very weird and strange i have never even uh, bothered to question before like as you have mentioned extraterrestrial yeah. beings and whatnot aliens and all those things but jay just to answer your question i would say that um, well, going back to your earlier question, what inspires me? Uh, the gods inspire me. Yeah. Most importantly, the ancestors inspire me. I sleep and then I wake up and then I'm inspired. Like I said, I am just a mere vessel through which these words travel. Yeah. Man. Yeah, but under the snake, this snake is a good bite in my head. So, before you go, man, where, where have you been? Uh, which stages have you touched? Which artists have you performed alongside? My home is in Bloemfontein with the archives. Uh, they are very known, especially within the circles of uh, word and sound and whatnot. They, they, they even came uh, to Bloemfontein at some point uh, just to share with the archives. But that is my home right there, the archives. But uh, since I've, I, I'm based in Pretoria, I'm currently undergoing a slam competition, Tswane, hmm. Speak Out Loud Slam 2016 Festival. Tswane Speak Out Loud Festival, yeah. Hmm. Uh, and on Thursday, uh, I went through to the semi-finals. So the semi-finals will be in October the 15th. And you are the finals. Those people there. I, you are I, 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 I hope I am. No, I, I'm sure you are, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm still two ways about uh, it. I, yeah. I hope I am, though. You can come here any Sunday. If you feel like you have this poem that, you, yo, hit us up and you're going to be here. You are you are on point, man. It's an, it's you remind me of this guy from Soy. I just forgot his name. He's got dreadlocks, too. Like today, or rather tonight. I called out my neighbors and had a chat with them, sat with them in a table of brethrenhood, 
and broke bread with them while we drank tea from a ganja tree I use for critical thinking. As per usual, thought has to possess reason. And unlike the Pythagoras theory of a right-angled triangle that claims that the adjacent squared plus the opposite squared equals to the, the hypotenuse squared. No, you see, I had noticed that we had formed more of an equilateral triangle, the father, the mother, and the son, you know, the holy trinity. And immediately after all the nitty greeties, greetings and some minor trivialities that seemed to drag long the meeting, I got to it and somehow found myself preaching, quoting from the holy scriptures of the plagiarized version of the Book of the Dead. And so they say, coming forth by daylight and said, that in the genesis of all things, the creator is the point of inception. And with that being said, all is one and one is all because we are the very essence that made our, make, our maker. And so as it was in the beginning and so shall it be in the end, that 360 degrees of ethereal state plus 360 degrees of material state, the circle in the square, Fifth, the embodiment of all four elements, spirit that embodies earth, water, fire and air, thus becoming superior overstanding of 720 degrees in all. What you refer to as God is manifested in everything on the face of the earth. And not to say I disagree with the Fibonacci sequence, but you see these men have made us turn into their own foolishness, which is to decode the universe secrets and pass them as theses in exchange for degrees. Whereas it's apparent that before every dawn it's darkest and dark as it was, that's when darkness is with a child. And the child's name is to be light, illuminated by the gods. So up as it was, down. In so was out. Left and right. The east, where life lies, to the west, where life dies. And every dawn arises the sun as resurrected by the genes of Isis, the moon and the stars. Human events are expressed in images taken from the constellations of the heavenly bodies like you and I and how we are one like that and we cannot be broken apart following the ways of the heart, the righteous part that is to keep balance. We are spirits walking in thus, infinite beings with infinite strides, galactic warriors, time travelers of the night sky, you and I. But I'm afraid that we have given away so much that we given so easily to the forest of dreaded locks where the animal side of Africanus takes charge like a spell cast in a moon full with blood. We are kept in a trance, eyes shut while the greedy fed bastard presumes to think for us. And how dare they think as such when even a predator does not feel for its hunt. It kills viciously and feeds on sight. You see, these men are like the Genghis Khans who conquered the people of China and demanded their hair cut. And unfortunately for them, because hair acts as antennas that connect us with the heavens. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out.